We're now ready to continue on with Lesson 2, Part 2 of the Teddy Bear Curriculum, where we're going to add lettering and change the color of that lettering and place it underneath the teddy bear. To begin, let's move the teddy bear just a little bit up into your work area. To select the teddy bear, make sure that the rectangular selection is highlighted and left click and drag around that teddy bear and just move him up just a little bit. Alternatively, you can hold the control key on your keyboard and press the letter A. That will also select the teddy bear. Let's now move our mouse over to the left hand side and choose the edit text icon and click on that. Once we do that, some new tool options will come up. The font size is what we'll start typing with and let's leave that font size at 30 or if it's not 30 on your screen, go ahead and make that change so it is 30. The font name, we can use the upside down arrow and see all the different fonts that are available to choose from. Creative Drawings allows you to use most true type or open type fonts from your computer. Today, we want to use Comic Sans, so go ahead and choose Comic Sans and left click. Let's go ahead and click somewhere underneath the teddy bear. When you do that, if you have a light background, you may not be able to see the text cursor. And don't, don't worry about that. We'll just start typing and we can always move the text later. So I'm just going to start typing. I'm going to type in, I love grandma. And there you go. So it's really simple. Now I can see that text. And if I left click in here, you can also see what the cursor looks like. Once you have the phrase or the words that you want, you want to go ahead and go up and choose a different tool. The text function will remain active until you choose another tool, just in case you want multiple lines of text. So that's why you, you have that tool is still there. Today we just have one line, so let's left click on the rectangular selection. And that set our letters. That was it. If you left click off, you can see what your letters will look like. Today we also want to change the color of the letters. So to do so, just move your mouse. Notice as I move my mouse over the different parts of the lettering, they kind of gray out a little bit. Left click on that and the whole set of letters will be selected again. Bring your mouse down into the thread palette and we're going to change colors as we did in lesson one for the hat. In our case, we want to change the white fill pattern or fill color of the letters to one of the other colors in the teddy bear. Today I'm going to choose red. So we want to make sure that we have the white highlighted with the little fill bucket. And now I'm simply going to move my mouse over to the red color box in the bottom right hand corner where it has that fill bucket and left click. My lettering is now change colors. Go ahead and left click. You can see what it's going to look like. Now at this point, it's really important to start saving your designs as the draw format as you go through. That way you can come back and make changes and you don't have to start from scratch. So with your lettering underneath the teddy bear, it doesn't really matter where, and the teddy bear on the screen, go up to the word file, Go to Save As. Now remember where you're saving this, just like we did before. We are saving it in a file folder that I will remember. And under the file name, I'm going to have my teddy bear, and then I'm going to type in with letters. Again, make sure it's that draw file format. You can always come back and resave as your sewing machine manufacturer format later. Right now, it's most important to save as the draw format and click save. Notice how that changed my tab, so I know that that really has saved in the draw format. Well, that's it. We've added our letters. 
Now when we come back, I want you to try this, and when we come back we're going to insert a symbol and change the color of the symbol as well.